Hello everyone, how to find work in Canada and the US. This video I'm going to tell you how to find work. A lot of you I see on the groups in Facebook and online and on the street are really looking for work. And I'm going to give you some tips here and hopefully it's going to help you find the work you need. All right, friends, my name is Yossi Kaplan. I'm a Toronto realtor and I work also in Costa Rica. Um, if you know if you'd like to know more about me, I'll show, you, I'll show you my website real quick, but I'm going to talk to you about how to find work. So just so you know, here is my site, Yossi Kaplan, yossikaplan.com. I work in Costa Rica. I work in Toronto. We have interviews. We have investments. I've been doing this for many, many years, and I've been in Canada for many, many years. And myself, when I came to Canada, I barely spoke English. I didn't know how to find work. I did come to school first, but the moment these things start to happen, you leave school, you got to find work. Like, what do you do? And I see over and over again, a lot of people are desperate. I get no responses. No one's calling me back. No one's even opening my email, all that stuff. So let's start. The first thing I need you to understand that in Canada and the US, we don't care about you as employers we care about our business and if you understand this simple principle that the business owner cares about their business you're gonna get work now i'm using the word job not i'm using the work the word yet work yes why am i using the word the word work and not the word job because they're two different things when you work when you come to work, you come to help out. You come to add value. When there's a job, then you go to McDonald's or Tim Hortons or anywhere and just like, you know, do this for eight hours and then you get some money for it. That's a job. If you want work, it's something else. Think about the business owner, what their problems are and how you can help them. So let me get into a few details here. The first thing, the reason you're not finding work or job is because you're not thinking like the business owner. No more the days where you send a resume and you expect people to call you back. Okay, I've sent one time 170 resumes. It took about three months, but I sent. I had like three every day, five every day, nothing, zero responses, and that was a difficult financial times, kind of like now. And then it hit me that I'm really like these people sitting with like all these resumes. They don't care for your resume. It doesn't matter, okay? What they care is, can you solve my problem? Can you solve my problem? I have a business and the business has problems. Maybe it's in the logistics. Maybe it's in the customer care. Maybe I need to call people back. Maybe I need to provide better service. Whatever it is, the front of the house, the back of the house, there are problems, okay? Every business has problem, problem after problem after problem, because that's what business is. It solves other people's problems. That's why you pay them, okay? Money is an energetic unit. I'll pay you $100 and you fix this for me, okay? I'll pay you a million dollars and you, you build this house for me. But that's the idea. I need a house. I pay for the energy that took to create the house. I need a pen. I'll pay you know, $2 for the pen, whatever it is. OK, so first thing, start thinking like the business owner. Now, a lot of people say, but I just need a job. I just need a job. Anything, anything, anything. That's OK, but you still have to solve that person's problem for him or her to look at you and say, OK, Mo, come over. OK, Joe, come over and you help me out. OK, that's what you're not doing. And that's why you're not getting responses. You know, what I'm going to do with all these resumes, I don't care to read them. It doesn't tell me anything about you. The only thing I want to know from you as a business owner is, can you help me? Can you solve my problems? Now, I've seen some posts on uh, Facebook uh, and a lot from recent immigrants. I'm an immigrant too, no longer recent. So listen to my experience. Now, this is my experience. Yours could be a little different, but I, th I think you're going to find the middle here is that Immigrant comes and maybe in your home country or maybe you knew someone or maybe your family were, was well connected. Maybe you had a cushy job and you don't have any more. Yeah, so you got to start thinking a little differently now. You have to start thinking of problem resolution, how I solve that problem for that business. 
And that's, they'll say, okay, can I work with you? Give an example. I had a unit, I'm a real estate agent, and once in a while we need units clean, painted, furnished, anything, okay? So I call a few people, and those people that call me back, those people who solve my problem, those people who take the least amount of my time and are the least annoying, I take them, I pay them. Now, if you ask too many questions, if you're too picky, if you're annoying, if you're not nice, if I have to like spend a lot of energy to help you get the job in my company, get the job done, I'm not going to hire you. And that's why you're not getting the job. That's why you're not getting work. Remember, you're looking for work, and work is solving someone else's problem. A job is a McDonald's. That you can always get. That's not, that's not what this video is about. Okay? The reason you're not getting responses, and I'm reading here from my, I got some notes. The reason you're not getting responses because your resume looks like everyone else's resume. And nobody cares for your resume. Just a piece of paper. Here's another piece of paper right here. Nobody cares. What people care for is, can you help me? And can you help me that I don't have to spend so much energy explaining to you how to do it so then you can do it? I've had people before that I had to pay and I had to spend more time explaining to them how to do the job that I had to do it myself. Guess what happened to these people? They do not work for me anymore. And, you know, they, they never really made it in life. And to make it in life means you are happy at what where you are and you're happy at what you're doing and you can pay your bills and everything's good. All right. Um, another thing I want you to think about is what are you offering? What are your skills? Like I see a lot of these uh, groups on Facebook and there's anonymous. I just need a job. So, bro, girl, I'm not going to give you anything, not a time of day because you didn't bother. Tell me what you're good at. What are you good at? What can you do for me? Can you drive? Can you talk on the phone? Can you clean? Can you work with your hands? Can you work on a computer? What kind of software do you know? What kind of languages do you speak? Like, what skills you already have that can help me? Okay? Those skills, you got to write. You saw this anonymous post. I need a joke. No, no. I speak these languages. I know this stuff. I'm good with this. I'm good with that. I've helped other people. Now, I can, who needs this, this specific thing? Be specific. Okay. And even if you don't know how to do anything, you can help out. But you have to show in your post that you want to help. If you're not going to help people, you're not going to tell me, hey, I'm going to help you. Why would I hire you? Okay? So that's, that's the one. What are you offering? The, the next one is the same from the employer's perspective. Why should I hire you? So there's, there's only one reason why I'm, I'm going to hire you is you're going to solve a problem for me. But you have to solve this problem in a way that is not making me more problems. And most of you, and I'm sorry to say that, but most of you, at least people that I've hired before, they didn't think about it. And because they didn't think about it, they didn't really solve the problem. I had to spend so much effort and energy for them to solve a problem that I could do it myself. So why would I hire you? So ask yourself why I should hire you. I will solve your problem. I will make you less stress. I will make you money. I will deal with the difficult clients. I will clean the bathrooms. What can you do that I cannot do or don't want to do or would rather do other things and I need someone to do this instead? What are you offering? Okay. Why should I hire you? The next thing is what value do you bring? And the value that you bring is also very similar. However, value, think about the value. It's not how much money you're going to bring my business that too we'll get to it but what kind of value they say oh you know yossi he's great he knows the downtown he knows how to handle landlords he knows how to handle difficult clients he knows how to hand handle the the real estate he knows how to speak with the lawyers that's the value i bring i know the product i know the prices i know the people i know how to talk to them what value do you bring Okay, what is it outside of, okay, you can, you can fix that motor, you can, you can do that job, great. But what value do you bring? Okay, there's, think about it, there's probably 5 or 10 or 20 more people that can do just what you can. So why, why you? Because you bring other value. And usually that value is how you communicate to other people, how do you relate to other people, are you nice, are you friendly, 
Uh, if someone's like taking too much of your time and I'm the employer, and I'm paying you for my time. Do you know when to close that conversation and move on to the next client? Can you recognize a client that is just calling but not going to do it in a business and very nicely say, look, I got to go to the next one. Okay, so that's your value. If you're going to be very nice and be very helpful, but do one call all day long, next day you're done. Okay, I, I, I'm not going to pay you for that. So what value do you bring? The last thing about these, so remember, it's it's what do you offer, why I should hire you, what value do you bring, and the last one, the fourth one, is the value, the monetary value, the money value you're going to bring to a business needs to be at least three, <laughs> three times more than what I pay you. Why is that? Let's say I pay you $30 an hour, whatever it is, $100 an hour, and you bring three hundred dollars an hour on average to the business. Why is that important? Because the first third I have to pay you, so hundred dollars an hour. The second third I have to pay the government and business expenses, and the third third, if I'm lucky, the business can keep it. Most businesses we're not going to have. We're not going to be able to retain a third, thirty-three percent. They're going to retain a lot less unless they're in software, or very, very like streamlined businesses. But brick and mortar physical business will retain five to twenty percent if they're lucky. So you need to bring three times that because the third third, right? So one is one third for you, one third is for the business expenses and all that, and taxes. But in reality, taxes will eat into the profit, and your your actual profit probably be a third less half or something like that. So six, you know, fifteen percent if you're lucky. So now you got to think to yourself, do I want to hire this person? All they're going to make me is 15% more. Are they really worth it? So back to the value. If you bring that good value and I like you and you and, and you bring good vibe to the company and, and, and people follow you and it's good, yeah, maybe I'll hire you. All right. Yeah. Now a couple of things and I'm going to finish. What not to do. Okay, a lot of people are doing all the mistakes. First of all, you're needy. I just need a job. That's not how you get it. Calm down. There's no value here. Hello, my name is Yossi Kaplan. I'm a Toronto and Costa Rica realtor. I know the area really well. I know how to do business here. I've done a lot of business. I will help you. I will not give up on you. I will find you the home that you need. Okay. That is solving a problem. That is bringing value. That is showing my skills. Okay. That is not being needy. I'm offering my services. All right. Uh, number two is you don't follow up. You send you send all these resumes. Did you follow up? Did you did you find these people? You actually send them the resume, call them, or send them a personal email, or say I'm gonna send you my resume. And did you follow up after you send the resume and say, hey? This is Yossi Kaplan. I just sent you my resume. Do you need my help? And even offer. Say, hey, it's Yossi Kaplan. I know a really good house for you. I really know how to cook that dish. I really know how to solve the computer pro problem. I do a really good job cleaning. Whatever it is, call that recruiter. Call the person that hires, if it is the head of the company or the recruiter, whatever, and talk to them. Okay? You'll find them. Everyone has Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Find them. Talk to them. All right, that is it for today. I hope that you find good work. Don't look for jobs, good for work. Bring value, be nice, be helpful. Most important, make the business money and make the business better than it was before. Now, I sell real estate. If you want real estate in Toronto and Costa Rica, come talk to me. But if you have any questions, put in the comments and I'll answer you. Thank you and good luck. All right, friends, my name is Yossi Kaplan. I'm a Toronto realtor, and I work also in Costa Rica. Um, if you know, if you'd like to know more about me, I'll show, you, I'll show you my website real quick, but I'm gonna talk to you about how to find work. So let's start. The first thing I need you to understand that in Canada and the US, we don't care about you as employers. We care about our business. And if you understand this simple principle that the business owner cares about their business, you're going to get work. No more the days where you send a resume and you expect people to call you back. Okay, I've sent one time 170 resumes. It took about three months. 
but I send, I had like three every day, five every day, nothing, zero responses. And that was a difficult financial times, kind of like now. And then it hit me that I'm really like, these people sitting with like all these resumes, they don't care for your resume. It doesn't matter, okay? What they care is, can you solve my problem? Can you solve my problem? I have a business and the business has problems. Maybe it's in the logistics. Maybe it's in the customer care. Maybe I need to call people back. Maybe I need to provide better service. Whatever it is, the front of the house, the back of the house, there are problems. Think about the business owner, what their problems are and how you can help them. So let me get into a few details here. The first thing, the reason you're not finding work or job is because you're not thinking like the business owner. Now, I'm using the word job, not. I'm using the word, the word yet, work, yes. Why am I using the word, the word work and not the word job? Because they're two different things. When you work, when you come to work, you come to help out. You come to add value. When there's a job, then you go to McDonald's or Tim Hortons or anywhere and just like, you know, do this for eight hours and then you get some money for it. That's a job. If you want work, it's something else. Most important, make the business money and make the business better than it was before. Now, I sell real estate. If you want real estate in Toronto and Costa Rica, come talk to me. But if you have any questions, put in the comments and I'll answer you. Thank you and good luck.